Relevance versus Irrelevance In a world swarming with information, the clash between relevance and irrelevance has grown increasingly prevalent. Surprisingly, the harm doesn't primarily stem from glaring errors or misconceptions. Instead, it is rooted in the proliferation of facts that, although accurate, are irrelevant or mismatched to their context. Such information, out of place and misaligned, may not only obscure the truth but also exacerbate confusion and misunderstanding. Take, for instance, the domains of politics, social life, and personal interactions. In the realm of politics, a politician might bombard the electorate with a wealth of data and statistics that, while true, do not contribute to the issue at hand. This diverts the public's attention away from pressing concerns, resulting in uninformed decisions and unproductive debates. Meanwhile, in our social lives, the oversharing of irrelevant information can foster disconnect instead of forming connections. Imagine a conversation where one party relentlessly shares their knowledge about a topic unrelated to the conversation's theme. It breeds disengagement rather than stimulating meaningful dialogue. Similarly, in personal relationships, when discussions are drowned in the sea of irrelevant details, they can easily veer off course, failing to address the heart of the matter. When the deliberate substitution of the relevant for the irrelevant occurs, it's a troubling scenario. The effects are typically harmful, but they're merely a fraction of the bigger problem. This tactic is frequently employed by fraudsters, unethical politicians, and false prophets, creating an alarming backdrop for modern society. Consider fraudsters, who thrive on the art of distraction. They flood their victims with unnecessary details and irrelevant information, diverting attention from their real motive, deception. For instance, an online scam might weave a complex narrative around an imaginary lottery or an investment with unbelievable returns, burying the falsehood beneath layers of irrelevant yet fascinating information. In the political sphere, an unethical leader may flood the media with trivial stories or issues to divert attention from their shortcomings or questionable decisions. This results in a misinformed public, distracted by inconsequential matters while critical issues remain unaddressed. The same can be seen with false prophets who use irrelevant scripture or ideology to manipulate their followers. Instead of promoting understanding and enlightenment, they use distraction as a tool to control and mislead, creating dissonance in the place of harmony. Even more concerning is the scenario where individuals genuinely cannot distinguish between relevant and irrelevant information. They grapple with accurate facts, but stumble when trying to place them within an appropriate context. The world of knowledge, vast and complex, becomes a maze in which they lose themselves, misaligning facts with their appropriate contexts. An instance of this can be observed in the realm of health and wellness. People might come across accurate scientific research about a specific type of diet being beneficial for a particular health condition. Yet, if they apply this diet without considering the relevant context, their own unique health situation, they risk making misguided decisions that could detrimentally impact their well-being. Similarly, in the sphere of education, a student may memorize a plethora of facts for an exam but struggle to apply this knowledge in a broader or different context, making the information, in essence, irrelevant. It underscores the importance of not just acquiring knowledge, but also understanding its context and relevance to derive meaningful conclusions and actions. Let's dive into the realm of science, where the discernment between relevance and irrelevance is crucial. Consider the field of research where myriad studies produce vast amounts of data daily. An example of misplaced relevance would be the cherry-picking of data to support a preconceived hypothesis, ignoring other significant data that may contradict it. This misapplication of relevant data could lead to biased conclusions, potentially impacting the progression of scientific knowledge. Another example can be seen in the public interpretation of scientific findings. Often, the results of a single study are taken out of their academic context and broadly applied or sensationalized by the media. For instance, a study showing correlation between two variables in a specific setting could be reported as a causal relationship, misleading the public into drawing conclusions that the data do not support. Here, the correct information becomes irrelevant when removed from its specific scientific context and applied indiscriminately. Addressing false facts, though challenging, remains somewhat feasible since the presence of concrete proof can disprove them. However, demonstrating the irrelevance of certain information proves significantly harder. Convincing someone that a piece of information, while true, does not apply to a particular context, requires a nuanced understanding of that context and the capability to communicate it effectively. The courtroom is a prime example of such a dilemma, where the determination of relevance often falls to the discretion of the judges. The legal context is rife with the substitution of relevant information with the irrelevant. Lawyers might dwell on aspects that, while technically true, don't directly impact the case in question. For instance, during a trial, 
A defense attorney may focus on their client's commendable past behavior or personal hardships. While these facts are verifiable, they might not be relevant to whether the defendant committed the crime in question. In this way, irrelevant information could divert attention from the central issue, clouding judgment and complicating the path to a fair verdict. Certainly, additional examples from the realm of law will further illustrate this point. Consider a civil lawsuit wherein one party is suing another for a breach of contract. The defending party might introduce evidence of the claimant's previous unrelated legal disputes to tarnish their credibility. While these previous disputes are factual, they may not be relevant to the current case, serving only to muddy the waters and distract from the main issue of whether or not the contract was breached. In another scenario, during a patent dispute, a party might present extensive scientific data to validate their claim. However, the data could be about an entirely different but vaguely similar technology. While the data is accurate, its relevance to the specific patent in question might be minimal or completely non-existent. It merely acts as a diversion, creating an illusion of a valid argument while distracting from the core issue at hand. These instances emphasize the frequent employment of irrelevant information in legal proceedings, often leading to misdirection and obfuscation. For further insight, let's delve into some case law examples where blatant irrelevance has been displayed. In a famous defamation case, Sullivan v. New York Times, 1964, the legal counsel for Sullivan, an Alabama public safety commissioner, argued that the Times had published an ad containing inaccuracies about police action against civil rights protesters. While the inaccuracies were factual, the Supreme Court found them irrelevant to the actual defamation claim. Sullivan was a public figure, and the court concluded that the mistakes in the advertisement did not constitute actual malice. Thus, despite the erroneous facts presented, the core issue of defamation was unaffected. Another interesting example is the O.J. Simpson trial, where the defense introduced the issue of racism within the Los Angeles Police Department. While this was a serious and real concern, its relevance to the actual murder charges against Simpson was questionable. The introduction of this largely irrelevant topic arguably served as a distraction, shifting the jury's focus away from the main evidence in the case. These instances highlight how irrelevant information, even when accurate, can divert attention and potentially impact the outcome in significant ways. Tackling irrelevance is a formidable task, largely due to the intricate interconnection of all things. Depending on the perspective, what initially appears irrelevant may suddenly become relevant. This fluidity of relevance and irrelevance is a fascinating feature of our multifaceted world. Consider the business sector. In strategic planning, companies often analyze numerous factors to determine their course of action. An issue that seems irrelevant at a glance, like social media trends for a heavy machinery manufacturer, may suddenly become significant if a negative review goes viral and impacts the company's reputation. In the realm of science, a researcher studying the behavior of ants might overlook weather patterns as irrelevant. However, the role of weather in altering ant behavior could be critical, thus transforming an ostensibly irrelevant factor into a relevant one. In personal life, someone might dismiss a friend's recommendation of a mindfulness app, deeming it irrelevant to their busy lifestyle. Yet, when stress levels escalate, this once irrelevant suggestion may become a valuable tool for managing stress and enhancing well-being. These examples underscore the potential dynamism of relevance, affirming its contingent nature on perspective and context. When attempting to distinguish between relevant and irrelevant information, it is helpful to consider a series of guiding principles. First, ask yourself whether the information directly pertains to the core issue or query under investigation. If it doesn't, it likely falls into the category of irrelevant. Next, evaluate whether the information contributes to a deeper comprehension of the topic at hand. Relevant information typically adds layers of understanding, enabling you to delve deeper into the topic. However, if the information fails to enhance your knowledge or enlighten your perspective, its relevance may be dubious. Further, ponder over the practical application of the information. Can it be leveraged to make informed decisions or judgments pertaining to the issue? Relevant information tends to aid in decision-making, steering the direction towards more informed choices. Another crucial factor is the credibility and appropriateness of the source. Even if the information is factually correct, it's worth noting that an unreliable or inappropriate source can cloud its relevance. Lastly, consider the consequence of omitting this piece of information. Would the understanding of the situation change drastically if the information was discarded? If the answer is yes, the information is likely to be relevant. Conversely, if the omission of the information has no significant impact on your understanding or the outcome, it probably belongs to the realm of the irrelevant. Applying these guiding questions can aid in discerning between relevance and irrelevance, thereby enhancing the quality of understanding and decision-making. Relevance, in its essence, plays a crucial role in establishing priorities. 
it acts as a guiding light, illuminating the path towards objectives that hold substantial significance. The greater the relevance, the higher the likelihood of an idea or task ascending to the top of our priority list. It is this relationship that shapes the choices we make, directing our attention and resources towards issues that truly matter. A relevant task is more likely to capture our interest, spur action, and thereby, it is assigned a higher priority. However, the intrusion of irrelevance poses challenges to correct theorization and priority setting. Irrelevant factors tend to scatter our focus, leading us astray from our true goals. These elements, while possibly intriguing, fail to contribute meaningfully to our objectives, often serving as mere distractions. As we get more entangled in the irrelevant, our ability to prioritize effectively diminishes, compromising the integrity of our strategic thinking. To establish true priorities, it's vital that we sift out the irrelevant, thus ensuring our attention stays firmly rooted in matters of real substance. To better comprehend the pitfalls of irrelevance, let's consider a few examples. Take the case of a business leader, tasked with steering his company towards growth. If this leader allows irrelevant factors such as personal bias, unsubstantiated rumors, or outdated practices to influence decision-making, it skews the prioritization process. Consequently, the company may divert resources away from areas that could actually spur growth and instead focus on areas that aren't instrumental to the organization's success. In a different context, consider a student preparing for a major exam. The proper strategy would be to prioritize studying key topics that will appear in the exam. However, if the student becomes engrossed in irrelevant information, such as non-exam-related subjects or time-consuming social media trends, the precious study time is misallocated. Consequently, the student's preparation for the exam may be inadequate, reflecting the negative impact of an incorrect prioritization brought on by irrelevance. The subtleties of relevance and prioritization distortions often go unnoticed, making their recognition and understanding a complex endeavor. These distortions permeate various aspects of life, visible in socio-political discourse, scientific exploration, and personal interactions. At a cursory glance, everything appears normal, the facts seem accurate, and the words uttered are appropriate. But upon closer inspection, we may discern that the content lacks substantive value. This realization can be an isolating experience. One may wonder, am I the only one noticing this? This process is the cornerstone of critical thinking, going beyond fact-checking and comparisons. It emphasizes the importance of relevance and appropriate prioritization. Critical thinking requires not just discerning the truthfulness of the information presented, but also testing its relevance to the topic at hand and assessing whether the correct priorities have been assigned. The ability to make these assessments is key to uncovering the incongruities often hidden beneath the surface of our daily conversations and debates. Assessing the validity of prioritization is an intricate task that requires some practical strategies. One such strategy is the impact effort analysis. This method involves ranking tasks based on the impact they can potentially have and the effort they require. The tasks that have high impact and require less effort are given priority. This simple test can highlight whether your priorities align with the principle of efficiency. Another useful strategy is the Eisenhower Matrix, a time management tool named after former U.S. President Dwight D. Eisenhower. It classifies tasks into four categories based on their urgency and importance. The categories are, urgent and important, important but not urgent, urgent but not important, and not urgent or important. Ideally, your priority should be tasks that are both urgent and important. This matrix serves as a visual test to evaluate the accuracy of your prioritization, ensuring that your efforts align with your key objectives and deadlines. In conclusion, confidently determining relevance and appropriate prioritization is an acquired skill that requires conscious practice. Being aware of your objectives and staying focused on them is crucial. In addition, one should develop the ability to discern the essence of information, separating the significant from the insignificant. Regularly conducting exercises like the impact effort analysis and Eisenhower matrix can also sharpen your prioritization skills. Artificial intelligence can be a useful ally in these tasks. AI algorithms can analyze large volumes of data and identify patterns and correlations that may not be readily apparent. By doing so, they can provide insights into what's most relevant to the task at hand. They can also assist in prioritization, particularly when dealing with complex situations involving numerous variables. For instance, AI can help allocate resources in a business, or aid a student in devising an effective study schedule. It's important, however, to remember that AI is a tool to aid human decision-making, not replace it. At the end of the day, the judgment call on relevance and prioritization should be a human decision, informed by both data-driven insights and intuitive understanding.